the Philosopher's Stone refers to a legendary alchemical substance believed to have the power to turn base metals into gold and grant immortality. Alchemists throughout history sought to create this mythical substance, viewing it as the ultimate goal of their craft. The concept of the Philosopher's Stone dates back to ancient Greek and Egyptian texts, suggesting a long-standing belief in its potential existence. Some proponents argue that the stone is not a physical object, but a metaphor for spiritual enlightenment or the achievement of perfect wisdom. Historical accounts describe various attempts by notable figures, including Isaac Newton, to create or obtain the Philosopher's Stone. Certain researchers claim that ancient alchemical texts contain coded instructions for creating the stone, hidden to protect the knowledge from the uninitiated. Some modern interpretations link the concept of the Philosopher's Stone to advanced scientific pursuits, such as nuclear transmutation or the search for the elixir of life in medicine. Believers point to unexplained historical accounts of alchemists allegedly succeeding in transmutation as potential evidence for the stone's existence. Phlogiston theory resurfacing refers to a modern re-examination of the 17th and 18th century idea that a fire-like element called phlogiston exists in combustible bodies and is released during burning. Some researchers argue that the theory, while discredited, may have captured certain aspects of energy transfer that warrant further investigation in light of current scientific knowledge. Proponents suggest that phlogiston could be reinterpreted as a form of potential energy stored within materials, drawing parallels to modern concepts in thermodynamics. Certain advocates claim that unexplained phenomena in combustion reactions and energy transfer could potentially be explained by a revised understanding of phlogiston. The theory's resurgence is partly fueled by the discovery of new subatomic particles and the ongoing quest to unify fundamental forces in physics. Some supporters argue that the phlogiston concept aligns with certain aspects of quantum field theory, particularly in relation to the exchange of virtual particles during interactions. Critics maintain that phlogiston theory is obsolete and contradicts established scientific principles, while proponents argue that its core ideas may have been prematurely dismissed. The resurfacing of phlogiston theory has sparked debates about the nature of scientific paradigms and the potential value of revisiting discarded ideas in light of new discoveries. The phone mafia refers to a theory that a secret organization controls and manipulates global telecommunications networks for nefarious purposes. Proponents believe this group has infiltrated major telecom companies, intelligence agencies, and government bodies to maintain their grip on communication systems. Supporters point to unexplained service outages, data breaches, and instances of widespread surveillance as evidence of the phone mafia's activities. Some theorists argue that this organization uses advanced technology to intercept and alter phone calls, text messages, and internet traffic in real time. Believers claim that the phone mafia's influence extends to the development and implementation of new communication technologies, including 5G networks. Certain advocates suggest that unusual phone phenomena, such as phantom calls or unexplained recordings, are byproducts of the phone mafia's operations. The theory often intersects with concerns about privacy and data security, with some viewing it as an explanation for the erosion of personal communications privacy. Critics argue that the idea of a phone mafia oversimplifies complex technological and political issues, while supporters maintain that it explains patterns of control in global communications. Pineal gland calcification refers to the accumulation of calcium deposits in the pineal gland, a small endocrine gland located in the brain. Some researchers believe that this calcification process may interfere with the gland's ability to produce melatonin, a hormone that regulates sleep patterns and circadian rhythms. Proponents of alternative health theories suggest that pineal gland calcification could have broader implications for spiritual and psychological well-being. Certain studies have found a correlation between pineal gland calcification and decreased melatonin production in older adults. Some advocates claim that fluoride exposure, particularly through drinking water, may contribute to accelerated pineal gland calcification. Theories linking pineal gland function to metaphysical concepts like the third eye or expanded consciousness 
have led some to view calcification as a potential barrier to spiritual experiences. Proponents argue that practices such as meditation, specific diets, or detoxification protocols may help reduce calcification and improve pineal gland function. While mainstream medicine acknowledges pineal gland calcification as a common occurrence with age, its full implications for health and cognition remain a subject of ongoing research and debate. Some alternative health practitioners propose that addressing pineal gland calcification could potentially alleviate symptoms related to sleep disorders, seasonal affective disorder, and other conditions linked to melatonin production. The Plain of Jars refers to an archaeological landscape in Laos, featuring thousands of mysterious stone jars scattered across the Xiang Kuang Plateau. These megalithic structures range from 1 to 3 meters in height and weigh up to several tons each. The purpose and origin of these jars remain largely unknown, with various theories proposed by researchers and local legends. Some believe the jars were used as burial urns, supported by the discovery of human remains and burial goods near some sites. Others propose they were used for food storage, alcohol fermentation, or as part of an ancient distillery network. Local folklore suggests a race of giants created the jars to brew and store rice wine to celebrate a great military victory. The jars' distribution across the landscape has led some to speculate about their use as markers for an ancient trade route. Researchers have noted similarities between the Plain of Jars and other megalithic sites in Southeast Asia, hinting at a possible cultural connection. The difficulty in dating the jars precisely has contributed to the mystery, with estimates ranging from 500 BCE to 500 CE. The site's location in a heavily bombed area during the Vietnam War has complicated further archaeological investigation. Planned extinction refers to the deliberate and controlled elimination of a species, often proposed as a solution to ecological or health challenges. This concept has gained traction in discussions about mosquito eradication to combat malaria and other mosquito-borne diseases. Proponents argue that certain species' extinction could prevent millions of human deaths and improve quality of life in affected regions. Gene drive technology, which can alter the genetic makeup of a population, is considered a potential tool for planned extinction. Some scientists believe that carefully removing keystone predators could restore balance in ecosystems damaged by human activity. Critics warn of unforeseen ecological consequences, as the full impact of removing a species from its environment is difficult to predict. The idea challenges traditional conservation ethics, which typically aim to preserve all species. Planned extinction has been considered for invasive species that threaten native ecosystems, such as certain types of rodents on islands. Ethical debates surround the concept, questioning humanity's right to deliberately cause a species extinction. Some researchers propose creating genetic backups of targeted species, allowing for potential future reintroduction if needed. Plant intelligence refers to the idea that plants possess cognitive abilities and problem-solving skills similar to those of animals. This concept challenges traditional views of plants as passive organisms, suggesting they can learn, remember, and make decisions. Researchers have observed plants exhibiting behaviors that could be interpreted as intelligent, such as anticipating future events and communicating with other plants. Some studies indicate that plants can recognize their relatives and adjust their growth patterns accordingly to reduce competition. Plants have been shown to respond to sound vibrations potentially using this information to prepare for environmental changes or threats. Certain species demonstrate the ability to remember past stresses and adapt their responses to similar future situations more effectively. The root systems of plants have been compared to rudimentary nervous systems, with the root tips acting as a form of brain. Some scientists propose that plants use electrical signals to transmit information throughout their structure, similar to animal nervous systems. Experiments have suggested that plants can learn to associate neutral stimuli with positive or negative outcomes, a form of classical conditioning. Critics argue that these behaviors can be explained by evolved responses rather than intelligence, sparking ongoing debates in the scientific community. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. The left link takes you to more clips like this. The right link takes you to the full episodes these are from. Thanks for watching.